Hi everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Le Zafar de Clare. And today we're going to talk about something that's very, very important. Something that's part of our history that not many people talk about anymore. Many remember this. Some people don't remember this at all. But it was very huge back in the 90s. And what happened is, nowadays you got, Claire, you got some craft beer, you got some craft distilleries. But back in the 90s, Claire had their own craft soda. We had Claire beverage. Check so out, la Claire beverage. Good so, good little butler, good little, good little flag. Long. Look at that, check that out, check that flag out, look at that. Huh? You know, Claire beverage, maritime proud. We had our own pop in Claire, that's right. So what happened is, back in the 80s, Claire put together an A-team commando unit to break into the Crush Lab, the Pepsi Crush Lab, and steal the secrets to how to make soda. So we had orange, lime, cream soda, and they even broke into the vault and found the recipe for something even the crush scientists wouldn't make, and that's strawberry pop. Only Claire Beveridge could make strawberry pop. That's right, strawberry pop. Who would do this? Only the mad scientists at Claire Beveridge would do this. So here I got a bottle of Claire Beveridge. I got in my time machine and I went back in time and I picked up a bottle of this back in 1995. Look at this. La Claire Beverage en bouteille. Didn't have to go to PEI. Just had to go back to 1995 at the Claire Beverage factory. Look at this. Mmm. La Claire Beverage. Strawberry en bouteille. Ça c'est bien. Mmm. I also picked up a bottle of cream soda. Hey, I like cream soda. So Claire Beverage will make cream soda too. Look at that. Get that cream soda en bouteille. Get that sauce. bien. Mmm. La cream soda en bouteille. Yeah, so Claire Beveridge made her own soda. Look at that, made her own pop. La Claire Beveridge. We would fill that boat up with pop and drop it off at every old Chet Camoville, old Chuck Natagan, old Chet Sonyville, old Chet San Bernard. That's how people got their pop back in the day. That's right. You didn't buy it in stores. It was dropped via boat on the wharf. There you go, Claire Beveridge. Mmm, Sabelle.